Hi, and welcome to the first ever episode of General Nerdery. My name is Brian, and I'm a nerd. Today on General Nerdery, I'm going to show you how to use Firefox as an alternative to Google Reader. Okay, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be using the portable version of Firefox, mainly because I've already got my own primary install all set up and don't really want to mess with those settings. The first thing we're going to do is go to Firefox add-ons page. Okay, we're going to just search for feed. And the app we are looking for is Feed Sidebar right here. Uh, this is going to allow us to use Firefox in much the same way that Google Reader functions. All right, we're going to need to restart to get that to work. Whenever you install any application, uh, or add-on rather, in Firefox, you do need to restart it in order to get it to work. We're going to decline this because this demo isn't about smart links. Okay. Now, this is the little button here for the feed sidebar. And as we press that, it opens up the bar on the side. This is where all our feeds are going to go. Now, if for some reason this button does not appear, and I have seen that happen, for example, when I was using the uh, beta, ver well, when the Firefox 4 was in beta, rather, uh, this wouldn't appear. So all you have to do if that happens is Go up here to this empty space above your awesome bar and right click once, select customize, and it will be in this list somewhere if it's not here. In which case you can just grab it, drag it to where you want it, and let go. But it came and it is where it's supposed to be, so we'll just leave it alone. The next thing we're going to do is go and look for some feeds. Now I've already prepared a few links. Open all in tabs. And incidentally, this is how I used to keep up to date on all my sites. And uh, opening 50 some tabs at one time takes a little while to go through them all. You'll notice up here there's a little icon, a little orange icon. You may or may not have noticed it up there before, but it's always been there. Uh, what that means is that Firefox has recognized that there is an RSS feed available for this site. An RSS feed, if you don't know, is basically a little, a little text file that notifies your browser what are the latest posts on this page. It's exactly the same information that Google Reader checks for and uh, displays for you. So we could just click this, and now it brings us to the subscribe to feed page. But I'm also going to uh, note for you that uh, most pages will also have somewhere on the page, right here, a feed little link button, or what have you. In this case, BBC allows you to subscribe to specific versions of their feed, or we can just go back and subscribe to all of them, meaning that every one of the feeds will appear, or the, uh, the results for every one of the feeds, rather. Subscribe now. And we do want to leave that as the live bookmark. We could rename this as anything we want, so if you didn't want it to be labeled BBC News, you can call it whatever you want, but we'll just leave it alone. Subscribe. It's going to appear right here. Now what I do is I will create a new folder and label this. You can label it whatever you want. I do feeds. And we'll just drag that into there. Oops. There we go. That's where we're going to put all the pages that we subscribe to from now on, just to keep from cluttering up our shortcut bar. So now we'll close BBC and go on to the next one, just slash dot. Once again, we have the option of uh, selecting their little feed button, but I always just use the one built in Firefox as long as it's there. Subscribe now. Once again, we'll leave it as slash dot. Go on to the next one. Subscribe. And finally, you can also subscribe to things like YouTube pages. Uh, you might recognize this one if, uh, you found, if you're watching this video. Uh, it's also empty because, well, this is the very first video for my, for my new page here. So we'll subscribe to that as well. And now any uh, uploads that I make to the General Nerdery YouTube page will appear in the feeds list, which, by the way, has been building this whole time. 
and it's also appreciated if you actually subscribe within YouTube if you're going to use this method uh, or subscribe within YouTube as well I should say um, these are all the various articles and postings from the various websites that we subscribed to that we haven't read yet and by all of them I mean the most most recent ones. Uh, don't worry, you're not going to suddenly wind up with a link to every single article on every single web page that you su subscribe to. Just the most recent ones. Now if we click on one, there, we're brought immediately to the article, and it goes away from your sidebar. So that way you don't accidentally uh, wind up with a backlog of things that you've read multiple times and so forth. Every time you click on something, it takes you there, and the link goes away. Now, the buttons up top here. You'll see that we have uh, open all in tabs. That means that it would open every article from every, every unread article, let me say, from every one of the feeds that you subscribe to at one time in each one in a tab. Uh, if you have more than just a couple sites that you subscribe to, that could be a mess, so we're going to leave that one alone. Uh, the next one is mark all in all as read. Uh, let's say you've gotten a backlog of unread articles and you just want to start from scratch. You click that and everything that's currently in your uh, sidebar will be marked as read, which means that all these will go away, but you're still subscribed to those pages. They will come back as soon as there's a new post on that page. You can control how old of an article you want to show. In other words, it will automatically remove it from your feed as, a, as an unread article after it goes to a certain age. So you can set that at any age you want. Cancel feed update. Basically, the feed sidebar will uh, automatically update uh, at a predetermined time period. You're gonna, you can set that to whatever time you want, or you can just leave it at the default, which I think is every 30 minutes. So as it's set now, every 30 minutes it's going to go out and it's going to check and see if there's any updates to any of your websites. The next one is reload feeds. This forces it to go out and check. So if you're off cycle, if you're if you want it to check and it just checked 10 minutes ago, you can force it to. Sort by name. In other words, it's alphabet as listing these alphabetically right now. Most recently updated or at least last updated default Not sure. I'm not sure what default did. Uh, it definitely changed the order, but I'm not sure how it, how it categorized them. You can also search for terms within any of the posts just by typing it here. A couple things to note. As long as more than an, a half hour in this case has passed, the next time we open up Firefox, it will automatically, immediately start going out and searching all your feeds. You may want to disable this function if you have a very slow internet connection, like for example, a dial-up connection. Otherwise, what will happen is Firefox will be acting very, very sluggish initially, and then you can always go up here and manually decide, tell it to update when you have the chance. So, in a nutshell, that's how to use Firefox as an alternative to Google Reader. That's all thanks to this little app here, Feed Sidebar, which is the one we added to Firefox. Uh, it makes it possible to use Firefox in this method and uh, make all our lives a little easier. Thank you, and I hope you visit us next week.